now we have successfully downloaded the whale packages on our machine that means we can just run this whale framework and you will see that we just get this tool running in our kali machine so let me just close everything over here we don't need this so now you have to use this machine or basically use this framework so let's see how we can just do that so here first of all you can see the available commands over here and each of these command have the information that is just given right to the next of it and you can see the available tools and the evasion is the payload generator ordinance is a sub auxiliary or basically auxiliary payload so let's use this value vision to make the payload so first of all you can see that this update method is a very important method because what happens is now and time again that the antiviruses will just update everything in order to catch our code or in order to catch our malicious code so in order to just get that basically bypass every antivirus that is possible you have to update this whale framework time and again if you don't do this your whale framework will be outdated and there is a high chance of your payload being caught by any of these antiviruses that is available in the market so make sure that you update time and again if you are working with the whale framework because this makes your payload stronger than before because it is going to update every data that is available in the antivirus so this is basically some changes that will makes in every time and again because we want the viruses or we want the backdoor to be uncut by any of the antiviruses so make sure you update with this command which is simply you can type update and you will just have the new version of the whale framework but now we are going to use the command that means we have here that is available tool and in this case i have already told you before that we are going to use the evasion because we want to make the backdoor so i am just saying that use and one because one is for the evasion so if i hit enter it is going to just give us some information now and you can see we are inside now the value vision so we are inside the value vision and you could clearly see we have this 41 payloads loaded and this will be also same information in your case and uh, you can see the available commands over here so you can clearly see there is a back command and check vt command which is basically check virustotal.com against the generated hashes we'll see in the next lecture you can see all of this command info command list command use command and everything so let me say if i say list if i hit enter you can see all of the payload which is obviously the 41 payload which is shown over here 41 payload loaded and we'll have all these available payload right here so you can clearly see we have now this bunch of payload you can just get any of this payload to communicate from the client to the kali linux but you can see the naming convention over here so the first one you can clearly see that it is with the name flat.py which obviously is a python file and it is written in this auto it auto it is a programming language that is also a scripting language same as a python but this is going to package your application so this is auto it and basically it works same as a powershell so we write some code in the powershell so that is similar to the auto it too so you can see the interpreter or basically the payload that is written in this C languages which is C programming languages, Go languages which is also the powerful languages. You can see the some of the payload are written in the PowerShell. You can see this bunch of payload are written in a Python. So we are going to cover what the payload we can just do or basically we are going to cover reverse HTTPS using the socket programming and we'll just make complete backdoor after we just cover that Python lecture. But for now, we're just sticking to the Linux. That means we're going to do in the Linux way. That is in the Kali Linux way, not the Python way. So let's go and make use of maybe this 14th number which is saying or 15 number so let's go with the 15 number because this has the reverse https so this is important so let me first copy this because this information is very critical information so let's copy this and we can now let's uh, open some leaf pad and let me just paste it over here so this is important information 
so let's go down and you can see now that we have this bunch of payload right here so you have to now use any of this payload in order to make that is your backdoor so in my case i am going to use that is the 15 number let's check uh, that is in the 15 number so i'm just saying use 15 so now it is going to give us again the information that is showing so much of required options and these are the options that is very critical so you can see we have this yell host we have this yell port so this is basically the host in a port that the client machine want to communicate to this kali machine so you have to give exact information over here because this is critical information and if you want the client to communicate to the kali machine this information should be correct otherwise it is not going to just connect to the kali machine so first of all what i'm going to do is we have to see the ip addresses because that is the yell host over here so in order to see the ip address of kali because we want the uh, machine that is uh, our uh, window machine to be communicate with this kali machine that means we have to get the information that is ip address of this kali machine so if i hit enter so you could clearly see this is the information which is the IP address of this machine but we have to now we, we, we basically can't simply put here and we can just write so that is not possible so there is this available commands in order to change these options so what we can do is we'll just use this set option over here and I'll just say set and now we want this yell host so it is case sensitive you can't do something like this yell host so it should be all in upper case and if i say yell host and the ip address 192.168 and that is 1 and it is 12 or 11 okay it is it may be 12 yes 12 so this is your yell host so if i hit enter then we have now changed and if i say info again it is only the options not show options so uh, we can see now we have changed this yell host so we have now the yell host with the ip of the meta exploit handler that means we haven't seen this meta exploit this is also a framework that is going to give us a connection but we are just saying that we want this handler which is basically the communication so this is the parameter which is going to give us the communication between the client and the server so next thing you can see the yell port so i'll just change this yell port to two so i'll just say set yell port and I want maybe 4444 so let's see options again and you can see now it has been changed to 4444 and you can also see the yell host now you can see some of these information which may not be critical but uh, i have just figured out that if you want to just get all of these uh, bypassed or basically if you want to get bypass from the antiviruses that is available then you can change or you can also make some modified on this name field you can do something like you can just add the username maybe i'll just say set username and username maybe hacker so hacker is the keyword that is going to be traced so i'll just say test so you can do something like this because we want this payload to be different from another because if you make a unique payload that is not going to be traced or tracked by any antiviruses so our main aim will be that is to make a unique from others because they have the least or basically they have the signatures of database they have so many payloads that is in the file as a signature in the antiviruses so that if our file or if our payload matches with any of that signature then they are going to say us that this payload is a virus so that is the way antiviruses work so make sure that you make this payload as unique as possible because if you make unique this then it is not going to be traced so let me change again the some of these arguments let's say I want to change this processor which is right here so let's give this processor maybe one and uh, the options now you can also see now options and now you can see we have changed this processor so now if you want to now generate you can see the option right here saying generate so let's hit this generate 
and it is giving us information what this payload will be so i'll just say payload payload is my payload name so if you also hit it that is enter then it is also going to give us the payload as a default so let's hit enter and this is going to do some information that is going to package us as a backdrop so we have seen now that we have now so it is saying unable to create the file because i have already created over there with the same code so let's go over here i i think i have created with the name so let's go over there and in your case if you have done this first time it is going to create in maybe that is in the veil so first of all you have to check where that is stored so it will be stored in my case that is var let's go to the computer var it will be in the library veil is the framework because veil is a framework that is going to be inside this library and uh, now it is going to be in output and source and you can see we have this reverse https dot go and payload dot go so you can see we have created this output file and this is the payload and basically now next thing what you can do is you will just transfer this to the client machine so we'll see about the listeners in the next lecture and we'll just pass this reverse https with some basic delivery method in the upcoming lecture and we'll just make a complete connection from the client to this server so let's see that in the next lecture see you in the next one